Our next story is from Iran, which continues to experiment with morality, with new restrictions on the lives of women. This time, Iran has passed a new censorship law. It bars broadcasters from showing women doing certain things on television. What kind of things? Eating pizza on, on screen, or having sandwiches for that matter. And that's not all. Women can no longer be shown wearing leather gloves or drinking any beverage that's red in color. Don't ask me why. The same law also prohibits showing men pouring tea for women or showing the two together in quote-unquote domestic environments. What is Iran's excuse for such bizarre and antiquated guidelines? Our next report tells you. It may be 2021, but some archaic laws continue to be enacted across the world. Some are strange, some are outdated, and some are just outrageous. Take Iran's new censorship law, for example. It bars broadcasters from showing women engaging in certain behaviors. What kind of things? Eating pizza on screen, or enjoying a sandwich, or drinking red-colored drinks, or wearing gloves made of leather. Under Iran's new censorship rules, women can't be shown doing any of this on screen. You think that's bizarre? Then take this. The same law also prohibits showing men from pouring tea for women or showing them together in domestic environments like a closed room. According to the Iranian media, these antiquated guidelines have been issued following a recent audit by the IRIB. That's the Islamic Republic of Iran Broadcasting a body responsible for overseeing television and cinema in the country. Where did it conduct the audit? Who did it survey? This, the IRIB hasn't revealed. Iranians are understandably baffled, but they are not protesting. Most have learned to adjust to their supreme leader's whims. Ayatollah Khamenei who controls every little aspect of life in the country, including perhaps what's allowed on TV and what's allowed in real life. The new TV guidelines seem like nothing when compared to Iran's new proposal on abortion laws. A letter from a judicial body has called upon laboratories to prevent criminal abortions by reporting positive pregnancy tests to the government. The letter states, that one of the ways to prevent abortion is by connecting laboratories and the clinical centers to introduce mothers with positive pregnancy test results. What this basically means is that the state wants to infringe on a patient's privacy, violate the patient-doctor confidentiality, and make labs inform the government about new pregnancies. This is yet another move that shows the Islamic Republic's desire to control the bodies and lives of women. They can't step out without a hijab. They can't shake hands with men in public. They can't attend men's games at stadiums. They can't seek divorce without a judge's approval. And soon, they may lose the right to abortion. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.